Mr. Cordley, your wife says she does not want custody of the children. Okay? Now you're saying you don't want custody of the children. Mr. Codling, somebody has to have custody of the children. No, no, I haven't met them. No, and I have not seen the exorcist, no. Look, Mr. Codling, I'll, I'll put you through to my secretary, all right? Miss Flood, I am putting Mr. Codling through to you. Why me? Because it is your job, Miss Flood. <laughs> now, Miss Flood, would you also book me a table for two at 7.30 this evening at the Lancers? Yes, Mr. Carroll. Thank you. Right. Now, Perry, what excitement have we in store? Ah, how long is the lease on 82 Ashford Terrace? Mr. Callender. Yes, Helen. There's a Mrs. Delliforce outside. She ain't got no appointment or nothing, but she says it's very important. Oh. Well, you, you better send her in, please, Hilary. See, she can come in now. Ah, Mrs. Delaforce, sir. Do sit down, please. Thank you, Mr. Callender. Now, uh, what can I do for you? I live at the Grove, the old Tudor cottage on Sperry Lane. Oh, yes, yes. I, I know it. I know it. Uh, I thought it was empty. Oh, we've only just moved in, myself and my husband. I... Uh. I should have gone to the police, but I came to you first. This morning, I found my husband on the living room floor. He was dead, Mr. Callender. Dead, Mrs. Delaforce? He collects, <laughs> collected American hunting knives. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. There was one, a bowie knife, I think it's called, sticking out of his back. <laughs> it was... It was why, why didn't you go to the police, Mrs. Delaforce? Oh, Daniel, Mr. Delaforce and I, we've been... Uh, there have been a lot of rows lately, shouting. I think I even threatened. <laughs> Mr. Callender, I'm what you might call a prime suspect. You didn't... Uh... I don't remember. Oh, God, it's so awful. <laughs> Please, M Mrs. Delaforce. Oh, Mr. Callender. There's one thing I have to say to you. Yes, Mrs. Delaforce. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! You I have been waiting all my life for a case like this, and you don't. Who are you? Meet my old friend Fanny Winbird, appearing nightly at the Theatre Royal Windsor. <laughs> Dude, that was brilliant. Thank you so much. <laughs> I've, I've got to tell Zoe. Oh, you're going to cut the cake now, Mr. Callender. Oh, yes. <laughs> have, you, have you got a knife? <laughs> <laughs> Faster, four B. That's it. Loosen up. Pretend it's five minutes to opening time and the pub's a mile away. Morning, Mrs. Angel. Hello, Mr. Morgan Jones. Just pass in. I think you've fallen on the blink. It just rings and rings. Perhaps I was out. I do go out, you know, Roy. Matron turns a blind eye, bless her. Oh, honestly, Zoe. If you wanted to make me jealous, I think you could have done better than an old solicitor. Roy, I go out with Alec Callender because I like Alec Callender, not to make you jealous. Sometimes it's nice to be taken out for dinner instead of just for granted. So what does he do then? Fill him full of wine and show him his briefs? You've got a one-track mind and you straight into the shunting yard. As my dad always said, when all else fails, it's nice to have your bed to fall back on. I wish I'd met him. Got two tickets for the soccer tonight. It's the replay. Roy, you're as seductive as ever. But I'm going out to supper. Special occasion, is it? Actually, it's his birthday. Okay. Cheer your sweepy. Know where to find me when you want me. Oh. 
Better tell him to apply for his bus pass. I hear there's been a big rush for them. Miss! Miss! Yes, Rachel, what is it? I think we're loosened up now, Miss. Oh, right. Well, do it again. I wasn't really watching. Oh, Miss! You know, I can't believe I'm sitting quietly in a restaurant with my bloke and the whole world's having a good old stay-out. Here, their little brains. Is she his daughter? Is she his secretary? Is she his little bit of ho ho ho? Ho ho ho? <laughs> Don't let it bother you. Sometimes I feel like giving them a show. Oh, Mr. C, first the sable coat, <laughs> and now the gleaming solitaire diamond. Gee, whatever can a girl do to show her appreciation? <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Robinson. Nice to see you, Mr. Robinson. <laughs> One of your clients. Well, don't let it bother you. I've got at least three others. <laughs> you shouldn't be staring. Oh, let them all stare. All the men are saying, what a lucky devil. How did he manage to pull someone so young? And all the women are saying, oh, that poor little thing. How did she manage to pull someone so old? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having such a good birthday. I can't believe I'm 50. 50? All right, 54. <laughs> oh, it's nice you can still find a solicitor who gives you personal service. <laughs> Dorian, come back to the office and I'll divorce you all over again. Oh, heaven <laughs> forbid. <laughs> Zoe, there's something I want to ask you. Yes, Alec. I don't quite know how to say it, but... How about semaphore? With your napkin. <laughs> it's just that... The lamb is just mutton dressed up, so I'll bring trout, OK? Oh, aye, aye, that's, that's fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Where was it? You had, um, a question for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Simone has asked me to a birthday tea on Sunday with the family. And I was wondering if... If I'd bake a cake? Well, if you'd come with me. To your daughter's? <sighs> I don't know, but... Alec, it's only been a few weeks. People see us together, they talk. I don't want her hearing it from someone else. I know it's an old-fashioned thing to do, but... Oh, Alec, it's a lovely thing to do, but... Did you tell her you'd be bringing someone? No, not yet. Say you'll come, huh? I don't know if I'm ready yet to meet your family. They could be hideous. <laughs> What's so funny? Generally, when a bloke likes you, he wants you to meet his mother. <laughs> I've not been asked to meet his daughter before. You're forgetting I've got a mum, too. Oh, yes. Old Mrs. Callender from Glasgow. Champion haggis stuffer and sporran stripper 1911. Oh. <laughs> well? Can I think about it? Sure, sure. Think. Now, where's my present? What makes you think I've got anything? What do you mean, wait? <laughs> Don't give this young lady any more food until she gives me my birthday present. Oh, give it him, love. Put him out of his misery. Oh, right. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm coming, sweetie. <laughs> oh, oh, that's just what I wanted. But what is it? What does it look like? It's a sugar daddy. <laughs> What? Oh, if you hadn't laughed, Alec Callender, you wouldn't have seen me for dust. Ah, <laughs> oh, isn't he sweet? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. OK, I'll tell him. Yeah, cheerio. Who was that, Hilary? Oh, one of the Cray twins. He says he's coming round to Mr Callender's tonight with a video and a takeaway. <laughs> that was Jamie. Do having a son, what's a cray tween? <laughs> oh, Alec, I just had that shoplifter in again. Only this time she said she was only window shoplifting. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes, now, um, by the way, what did you think of Fanny? Not bad, eh? Oh, 
She liked you, Alec. You could do a lot worse. What's in it for you? 10%? No, just the gory details. <laughs> Listen, do you want her number? It's in my little black book. Well, in my little black ledger, actually. I am not in the market. You know that. Oh, you mean Zola Bud? Oh, come on, Alec. That's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Well, I can certainly see what you see in her, but what she sees in you is quite beyond me. <laughs> oh, thanks. Maybe it's some kind of social work. Like help the agent? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I mean, you know, she gets a badge to sew on her uniform. It might interest you to know, Miles, that I'm taking her on Sunday to meet Simone. Oh, not the she-devil. Mm. Oh, well, no, you don't take popsies to meet the tax deductibles. <laughs> I take it you haven't told Jamie yet? No. Do you reckon he'll think I'm a dirty old man? <laughs> no, I shouldn't think so, no. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> You're a great consolation, Miles. Alec, just keep a light touch. Do you know what my old dad used to say? Man cannot live by bread alone. He needs a bit of crumpet. <laughs> Here you go, Mr. Callender. <laughs> oh, uh, your son rang. He says he's coming round with a video takeaway from one of the Cray twins. Oh, Jimmy, eh? Hey. <laughs> Do you think I ought to talk to him tonight? Alec, don't worry about a thing. A piece of cake. <laughs> Hey, Hillary. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Henty. That's the last bit. Oh, well, I've got a jam donut in my handbag if you're really desperate. Delightful. Truly delightful. <laughs> Chris, we're on out. I don't blame them. Got a lot to stay for around here. <laughs> so, Alec wants you to do something. Come on, give. No, I can't. My lips are sealed. I promise you won't tell. Well, he wanted me to wear an old brownie uniform and, and he was going to dress up as Baden Powell and we were going to go for a... <laughs> and then we were going to go for a walk down to the pixie pond and... What did you say to him? I told him to go and tie a few knots. <laughs> He's invited me to his daughter's for a birthday tea on Sunday. How do you feel? Terrified. Oh, don't go. No, Debs, I've got to. People are always talking about the difference in our ages. This is Alex's way of facing it head on. When Trevor's mum first set eyes on me, she made the sign of the cross. <laughs> she didn't mean it. With two wooden stakes? <laughs> are you and he, um, you know? He's old-fashioned, Debbie. He still talks about courting. Hello, girls. You're on your own. Where's your brother Alps? Oh, thanks very much for it. Double brandy. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. You're on your own, then? No. Sydney will be over in a sec. Oh, darling, I know Sydney. I don't think you do. Ah, Sydney. Say hello to Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Hello. Sydney. Oh, Zoe. You're the one who's going out with the old man. <laughs> oh, you heard. Yes, he's 103 now. He puts it all down to raw fish and ginseng root. Goodness. Debbie, this is Sydney. What sort of a name is Sydney? I was named after me dad. Mm. What was his name? <laughs> Sydney. Gosh, this is real mastermind stuff, isn't it? So how was birthday dins? Very nice, thank you. He'll be taking you to meet his kids next. Sooner than you think, Debbie. Oh, sorry. <laughs> They're going to love you, aren't they, sweet bee? <laughs> Solicitor in Pinner. Must be rolling in it. <laughs> rolling Pinner. <laughs> I don't know much about law, but I've seen enough films where the old guy marries again and the kids get cut out to the will. Oh, I'd watch you back if I was you. I saw a film the other day where this girl's mother had been insulted. So the girl took an axe and hacked all the blokes who did it to death. It was horrible. What's that got to do with old boys changing their wills? Thought we were talking about films. Maybe you're good at wills, you solicitor. Maybe you're brighter than I thought. Uh, you'll have to excuse me. I think I promised myself an early night. Well, I did enjoy our little chat. I think it's lovely that you two kids have found each other. You stop two people somewhere from being really miserable. 